he started his journey in 93 and since then uh, most of the missions have been successfully completed it has gone to the mars as well as moon as well this uh, rocket system has evolved as one of the most reliable and cost effective one in the global scenario it will throw a lot of light into the origin of the universe the new year day for 2004 is going to be a significant one as far as isro's program is concerned the 60th launch of the workhorse the pslv will take place on this day uh, when we look back in history he started his journey in 93 and since then uh, most of the missions have been successfully completed not only around earth orbit but it has gone to the mars as well as moon as well uh, this uh, rocket system has evolved as one of the most reliable and cost effective one in the global scenario uh, its uh, proven track record shows that success rate of better than 95% and it is better than the global standard as far as the launch systems are concerned. This launch is a significant uh, scientific mission in which it is going to have an uh, observation system for looking at the fundamental phenomena associated with the galaxies, uh, the black holes, the dying stars, and so on. So that way it will throw a lot of light into the origin of the universe and also add to the scientific knowledge of the universe. Uh, again, uh, as usual, uh, the spare capacity is being utilized for carrying several small satellites, including student satellites from several universities. Uh, on this occasion, I congratulate for the fantastic achievement ISRO had during the 2023, in which uh, the significant moon landing on the South Pole, the Aditya mission, and the commercial launch competing against the SpaceX competition. So all these have been very significant event. ISRO's team needs uh, congratulations and compliments for all the achievements so far and wish them a great year ahead with this beginning on the, with the launch of uh, Polar Satellite launch vehicle on the 1st of uh, January 2024.